It's tough out here. Yeah, it's a yeah. drought. Yeah, we're loveless. We wow. smile through the pain. Yeah, <laughs> let me. <laughs> Yeah, the plaques come platinum, my bezel stainless Whip goes fast and the crib's outrageous Just spend 28k on production, light up a stage and leaving a spaceship Okay <laughs> Stop, this is for the other one Alright, hey guys, it's this little your favourite sister, your favourite aunt, your favourite cousin Your young in the, if you're new to my channel, hello, hi, welcome Please make sure you like, you comment, you share, you sub Go right and do all those nice things so you can become a part of the family group chat. If you're a returning subscriber, you already know the deal. I love you, point blank, period. Um, anyways, guys, so today is the return of family chat. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and for today's video, I had to get none other than my fave. G Money! G -money. That's, that's, that's what she's addressed by. If talk about this hand over here, G Money, period. That's if you it. think you know her government name, you don't. Her name's G Money. Thank you. Amen. Anyways, so today's topic. I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is, we're pressed to the core. <laughs> Hashtag to the core. pressed. If you follow me on IG, if you don't, um, but I asked my followers, um, you know, to just drop a few questions about winning love. Um, finding the man of your dreams, how the fish of you in Melbourne, you know, how it's tough out here. Yeah, it's a yeah. drought. Yeah, we're loveless. We wow. smile through the pain. We're <laughs> lonely. We're lonely. Nobody wants us. We're unwanted. We're abandoned. We're unwanted. Loveless. Anyways, anyways, so I think we're, we're, we're going to be talking about that. I don't know how to put all of that into a topic, but we're pressed. Yeah. That's the topic of yeah. today. We're pressed. Anyways, we're going to be doing like getting ready at the same time because we have somewhere else to go. It's not a chit chat and get ready with me. I don't mm. do those, but like we're going to be talking and getting ready. So it's kind of like a chit chat and get ready with me, but it's not. Thanks. So anyways, we're going to quickly go to eyebrows and eyes and that. Because we need to focus on those. I yeah. want to look cute, so I need to focus. And then we will come back and get into it. Okay? We'll be back. We're back. Um, okay, so um, we're about to highlight our faces. So now we can actually talk. So I asked the people, I said, we're talking all things manifesting love, being the man of your dreams, the struggles of being single, <laughs> wanting a six foot man, the fish being very few in Melvin. <laughs> The kind of men we want and being left undelivered. By God. <laughs> okay. So we said this. My relationship status is single. What's your relationship? Mine is abandoned, <laughs> unwanted, lonely. Um however deep you can go, that's me. Guys, me and Gracie have been pressed about this. Especially this year. Especially this year. Especially this year. Mm. Like a lot of our friends. Uh, are in love. So love lives here. Happily. Married. Yeah. They're off the market, bro. <laughs> off the market. It's good. Mm. You know? We're, we're happy for them. We're happy for them. But sometimes it can get a little bit lonely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it can get a little bit lonely. A lot of it, bro. A little bit lonely. And painful and sad. Mm -hmm. Ask the girls, right? And one of the responses hit me so hard. It hit me what in the chest. In my little Insta story where I asked the people to oh. share their thoughts, their questions, their yada yada yada. What's that? She said, <sighs> She said, You're attractive, but no one approaches you. Why? Oh, uh, personally, I'm unapproachable. But you, you're not. So why? Personally, I couldn't tell you. want to know for her why? Because I know I'm unapproachable. I don't have an answer, like I genuinely do not have an answer to tell you because why I know I'm paying, so why is there no one saying hello? Like hey, just a simple hey, how are you? Are you good? Yeah. And then if they do... <laughs> <laughs> what? 
But why y'all niggas so horny? Is it a psychological issue? <laughs> Is everything okay? <laughs> Did you even talk about it? Because we want to know. Because a lot of issues, I'm um, like, all of the scenarios I'm hearing, it sounds like it's a deeper issue within. So, like, is everything okay at home? Like, do you guys want to talk about it? Because I'm a bit concerned. Like, what's what's the hap? What's going on? I need to know. Because the math is not mathing. What's going on? She's not okay. Look at her. She's not okay. I'm not even going to speak on this one. Because... <laughs> She's hurting. I'm not gonna speak on this one because this is one story. <laughs> <laughs> that story should be telling her kids for generations. It's deep. It's deep to her. Guys, it's deep. Uh, this thing happened maybe like what? We're in June now. When did it happen? Like April? Yeah, yeah, yeah. April, yeah. Mm. I'm still pressed to this day. To this day. About what had happened. I'm not gonna speak on it. But just it's deep. It's not as deep. <laughs> Men. <laughs> hmm. No, they want sex. Um, okay. G. I can't be spoken to because I'm hurt. Like, I just can't. <laughs> Me, I've been talking to God. I've been talking. It's like talking to a brick wall. Me, have you ever spoken to someone and you're not getting any responses? Like, what's going on? Like, I get it, patience, it's all about the journey, you know, you have to learn about yourself and all these things. But, like, just give me something back, you know? Guys, you know what triggers G-Money? is when our friends who are in love ah! <laughs> <laughs> To all my friends out there, I'm going to slap every single one of you. I, I can't even say it, like, I can't say it. Just gotta wait. Your time will come. No, 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 thanks. Like, what am I meant to do with that? Like, thank you so much for that one. Just because you're in love, and they can say, it's fine, your time will come, you're gonna be okay. Just go away. Just go away. As if it's, okay, thanks now. Like, I'll be fine now. No. Makes the situation so then much as, like, now Because I'm, now I'm like, how long am I waiting? Thank you. <laughs> thank am you. I waiting three years, three minutes, <laughs> three <No>. days, <laughs> 30 years? Yeah, Maybe three days. Yeah, you know how some people they don't get married and stuff until they're like in their thirties, their forties. Dude, I'm terrified of that. That's my biggest fear. Cause why? I'm so terrified of that. Like I know there's no Russian stuff, but like mm. I'm terrified of it because why? My biological so clock. Let us menopause is coming. Don't tell us what it is. You're rude. It is. You're so rude to that one. <laughs> <laughs> it is like obviously God's timing and everything gets a hundred percent. But like sometimes it's just a bit much, you know. Especially during this. If it was summer, to be honest, I wouldn't care because it's already hot. Like just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. But like these winter nights, the other three seasons besides summer, and it's so hard to do enjoyment in winter. Get yeah, bad. All you want to do is just like do wholesome things. Like our friends go out for dinners with their man. Them. Yeah, there's some things you just want to do, but you can't do it with a friend. You need to do it with your man. Yeah, and me and Gracia are all we have with each other. <laughs> Damn horrendous, bro. Guys, let me tell you a story when I knew that like I was down bad, like singly down bad. So, one day, I went to church with my friend. He's in a relationship. Yeah. I went to church with him. We went to a night service. Tell me why I came back home by myself. Hmm. I drove by myself hmm. on the way home. This is so sad. She went home with her man then. And then me. I had to go pick up my brothers. <laughs> Gracia, it's so sad. For no reason. You have to use stronger words than sad because we've been past sad. There's this, there's words, we've passed them. Get deeper. <laughs> what am I gonna say? D depressing. <laughs> it was depressing. It's it's sad. It's painful. Mm -hmm. It's nothing nice. There's no joy. I'm sad. But then again, guys, I'm complaining and yapping yapping all the time for someone who knows 
that their husband is not in this city. I know it deep down inside my heart. I've accepted. See, I used to believe that my husband was in the UK, but I'm not going to the UK. So, but you're going. So it's you. No, it's not me. No, but you're good. I'm not. No, you are. I'm not. But how? <laughs> Have you guys ever been to my? <laughs> Have you been to my bed? Did I already do my forehead? I think I did. Let me just Listen, let me be honest. There's some pretty looking guys here. Oh, yeah? guys. No, 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 no. This state is full of nice looking yeah. men. We've seen them. We've seen them. We have nearly died a couple of times <laughs> from <laughs> We've seen them. Mm. We've interacted with them. We've been like, wow. Mm. Hello. Are you not a beautiful man? That is. The whole, the whole lot. But. But. <laughs> the streets haven't been changed. Yeah. <laughs> you see, listen, when we say we're Christian, we're talking about real. We need Christian men. We need godly men. We need leaders. We need what the Bible says a husband and wife should be. That's what we are looking for and what we need. Is that here? No. Thank you. <laughs> that's why I say no, no, no. I know. I know for a fact. For a fact. That my man is not in this city because I've seen what this city has to offer and there's nothing. The fish are it's so just, skewed here. Yeah, it's just and then, enjoyment. And then at like, uh, and then at our churches, the fish, there's nothing. It's a pond. It's a lake at the most. We need to be saved. Like, <laughs> let someone come rescue me. Can someone please catch me like a rat. On the highway. <laughs> please. Respect, not even respectfully, disrespectfully, I need to be grabbed away. Cause I can't do it anymore. Okay, so what kind of man are you looking for? See, listen, I dead ass. I'm only asking two things. Obviously, he's gonna be black because, duh. What was I gonna say? Oh God, I'm not talking like oh I know God mingle talk. I'm talking as in a real established relationship. We can pray together, Bible study together, do all the godly things, and we gonna help each other grow. That's friend? what I'm talking about. My what friend? Mm. Um, and then the second one is height. Oh, where is it for real? Oh. Let's not act like height doesn't matter. Like, it's not important. Because it is. I'm 5'7". I can't be with someone that's 5'5". Five five, or 5'6". Five or even 5'7". Or even 5'8". You need to be 6 foot 1 min ne mem. That's it. Two things. I'm asking for a lot. No. Can I find that in Melbourne? Thanks. That's it. Personally, I'm asking for a lot. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> they are not even. They I'm even. not. And that's the problem. That's the problem. We are asking for the, for the, the bare minimum. I, I don't think it's hard. I mean, obviously, you can't grow. <laughs> if, you're <t> if you're tall, you're tall. If you're short, just stay away from me. Because I'm rude. Yeah? Like, I will violate you. So, no. What else are you looking for? Me? Okay. Mm. Um, I'm looking for a man of God. Mm-hmm. Point blank period. Looking for a man of God who knows how to worship the Lord because I feel like worship is super important and how a man is with God will, I guess, kind of reflect how, how he, he is with you. you. Yeah. So if he's sensitive to you and he's super soft to you, uh, super soft to God, then that's going to reflect in your relationship and the way that you love. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Man who knows God, loves God, prays, worships without boundaries. Isn't just a Christian for shows. On Easter and Christmas. Christmas. And when it's important. Mm. Um, um, he, he has to be taller than me, but I'm like 5'2", so it's not. So you're fine. So yeah. it's actually, it's, uh, it's quite concerning yeah. <laughs> if you're shorter than me. It's very concerning, actually, <laughs> if you're shorter than me. What else am I looking for? A man with drip. Oh, yeah, but see, that's the thing. Drip can be fixed, though. Like, say. But I don't want to be no, no, no. no, but say <laughs> if he comes and he's dripless, you can fix that. I don't want to be Hi, Bob the Builder. Fix it. I don't want to be Bob the Builder. Sometimes you got to be Bob. Because think about it. If you really two things, what's the most two important things that you would want from a guy? God? Yeah. Yeah. Two? <laughs> <laughs> two? Man, I said two, she said one. 
Okay. <laughs> Agracia, you know that a mass is not our strong point together. <laughs> we do two and two, we get one. It equals four. Wait. Moral of the story is that we're pressed. To the core. I'm pressed that I'm single, guys. You know, like sometimes when I pray, I, I'm like, I'm dead ass with God. It's not even like jokes. I'm like, hello, sir. <laughs> How can a pretty young thing like me, a PYT, mm. be single? My DMs be dead and dry. How are these niggas that I'm meeting not meeting the requirements? And you know, for a while I allowed the bare minimum. We need to stop settling, bro. Yeah, I settled. And then I've seen like on Twitter and socials and stuff that that people are getting the girlfriend proposals and they're getting them proper. Just for a girlfriend. Not even a, a fiance. Wifey. No, a girlfriend proposal. If a nigga wants you, he'll be serious. So don't say for anything less. And never believe what a nigga says, bro. They're just here to catch you like a rat. On the highway. And then in the end, they will say, um, why'd you believe me? Ooh, that's Lois. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the time? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Nah. She oh. blew from mine. <laughs> okay, listen, guys. No, but she's going to have to come in because, sorry, I'm not ready. I can't. Like, I'm I just need to blow my lashes and get dressed. What's on my hair? I don't even know what I'm wearing. Sorry. Okay, anyways guys, as I was trying to say. Moral of the story is we're pressed. The fish are few in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Niggas just do the bare minimum and girls accept it. Um, God, to yourself. God left us undelivered about our love lives a long time ago. And we're still out here suffering. It's cold out in these streets. You must bring a jacket wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Um... If a nigga tells you he loves you, he's lying. Mm -hmm. Especially if he's from Melbourne. Um, Never listen to what a nigga says. Watch his actions. They'll amen. tell you a lot. Amen. Um, what else? What else? Guard your heart. My, the man of my dreams. The man I've been praying for. If you're there watching, come save me. Baby. Oh, listen. The thing is, though. When I get... When my man comes and finds me, we're going 1v1. <laughs> no, why is he dragging? Why did you take so long? Actually, I'm okay. I, I want. I know I sound like I live in a movie. I do. Um, the the day my man meets me, it has to be a movie. Oh, it has I to. need to have like bumped into him, spilled coffee, dropped my books or something, mm -hmm. or like we're both not paying attention to where we're walking and we bumped into each other. It's like, oh, yeah. sorry. I, so my, now when you even tell the story, I'm gonna be like, is that even real? Like I have to question it. Yeah. Yeah. If it's anything less, yeah. Stay away to me, please. We're gonna do it again. Mm hmm Guys, um, Lois is on her way. Guys, I haven't even done my I have hair. to go on my lashes and get dressed. So, this is the end of family chats. I don't actually know what we spoke about, but nonetheless, yeah, we're pressed. <laughs> when you're editing this, <laughs> nonetheless, you know. if I said something, mm, yeah. take it out. <laughs> yes. I can't be caught like a rat. Nonetheless, we're pressed. That's the topic of today. We're pressed, okay? Mm hmm we are single and it's it's not it's lonely <laughs> it's sad <laughs> if you can't mm. cry you must laugh and that's that's, that's the point we've reached that us where it's just become funny and tiktok comes for us every yeah. day mm -hmm. that instagram one is... our friends are living happy and in love mm -hmm. <sighs> and we are here <laughs> Telling you, guys. Not even an option. <laughs> like, telling you, we speak to each other every day. All yeah. we do is send each other TikToks and videos. Hello? Yeah. Pray for us because you know it's tough out here. <laughs> we cry ourselves to sleep. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Like, kiki. Like, this girl's not about to say, come outside. No. What's going on? <laughs> but anyway, it's been. G money the goat and it's just love your favorite sister your favorite aunt, your favorite cousin your young kid though i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> 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 <laughs>